here we go. So uh, this is Psychic Medium Tony Green. If you would like to call in and ask a question or connect with a loved one on the other side, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. Once you are uh, called in, it will direct you to hit one if you would like to ask a question or come on live with me. Please do remember that this show does air live um, on many TV stations and streaming stations, radio stations, and almost every podcast. So the when you're asking questions, just make sure you are um, remembering that. The next thing is, um, if you are live with us on YouTube, you can feel free to post a question in the chat or connect with other people in the chat. I can't promise I will get to every phone call or to every question in the chat, but I will do my best. Um, if you want to join us live, if you're watching on one of the other venues and you would like to join us live, I'm here every Monday and Wednesday at noon live. And um, sometimes I do a weekend show. So I'm going to start taking callers. Oh, one last little thing. Um, if somebody reaches out to you on social media, it's not me. I don't reach out to people. I don't uh, tell them. I, I'll never tell anybody, you need a reading. You need this or let me do this. For, I, I don't do that. If you want to connect with me for a private session, I do offer private readings and private healings, group readings and healings. But you reach out to me. You do that through my business number. 414-897-2869. Uh, Only business number I have. The call-in number is strictly for this show or my website, which is T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O. And again, that's the only place to get a hold of me and uh, read about my readings. Um, everything is there that you need. All the links are below in the description on any venue that you're watching, unless, of course, you are watching on TV. Okay. Hey, Sal. I want to thank everybody in the chat. Ann, Heather, Terry, um, Caroline, Fawn. I love you guys so much. Rebecca. Happy Wednesday, Sal. Uh, yep, I did get everybody. I think I did. Okay. <clears throat> So I'm going to go to callers. When I say your area code, um, hey, Amy, when I say your area code, please let me know your name and where you're calling from. So here's something I feel like I need. I normally would not say this, but I always tell everybody have a question and or a connection and I would need like the name. If you want to connect with somebody on the other side, I just need their name and um, their relationship to you. Any question, information, connect, uh, conversation you would want to have with them. I'm going to say um, if you if you call if you're calling in and you have a question, please make your question as exact as possible, um, so that the answer can be as exact as possible. Um, sometimes people call in and they just are very vague in their question or, you know, uh, they'll ask a question and they have an expectation of a certain specific answer or a certain specific way um, that they want either communication from the other side or they want to hear it. The biggest thing I can say to you is be open. Sometimes even when people come in to my office, they're waiting for that one statement, that one nickname, that one thing. And anything else I say, it doesn't even register in that moment because they're waiting for that one thing. If you can be very open about what you are getting, you're gonna be very pleasantly surprised at what information does come through. 
and what you do get. Um, <clears throat> so please, if you are connecting with a loved one on the other side, be open to whatever information they bring you. And if you are asking questions, be open to the way the question is coming through. I think that's it. Hey, Stevie. Stevie um, is my youngest brother, and um, his birthday is coming up in a week from tomorrow is his birthday. He's going to be the big 4-1. So, Stevie, I'm really looking forward to your birthday and celebrating with you. I am going to go to the very first caller, who is 905. <clears throat> 905, what's your name and where are you calling from? Um, hi, Tony. My name is Pat and I'm calling from Florida. Hey, Pat. And I'm sorry, your number is 904. I do not even know. There is no five any place in your number. I'm so sorry I said that. 904. <laughs> hey, Pat. That's okay. I heard you say unmute, so I figured you just got the number wrong. <laughs> I did. I did. Um, yeah, I wanted to know. <laughs> It's okay. I knew it was me. <laughs> um, I wanted to see if I could uh, connect with my sister on the other side. Her name is Kathy. She just passed recently. Oh, I'm so sorry, Kathy. Um, did her passing have something to do with her heart? I'm sorry, what? <clears throat> did her passing have something to do with her heart? Because the first thing I hear, the very first word I heard is heart. So I don't know if um, that has, well, if that's part of what her passing was or if that's something else. Or she could obviously. It could have been. She did have a heart condition. Okay. It was uh, it was a little confusing because she fell over and hit her head. And, as, you know, we don't know if the, it was the hitting of the head or something beforehand made her fall over and hit her head. And, I feel like. So um, it was, I feel like it's what made what made her fall, not the fall itself. I feel like it's what made her fall, but the fall added to it. Okay. Um, uh -huh. she's, yeah. she's saying um, the first, <clears throat> excuse me, the first thing I'm hearing is I'm in a better place now. I'm in a better place now. Um, it's better now. Um, and I, uh, I, for what it's worth, the statement is always, um, it, it, she's saying all the struggle and the strife has fallen. So she is feeling very freed of confinement. So if she um, being mm -hmm. free of confinement, I, and sometimes, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm so sorry. Sometimes I like to try to explain or try to figure out what they mean by something. And I shouldn't do that. It, you should know if you know what freed of confinement is, you're going to know that. Now that, I, and I think I do that for everybody listening to free of confinement can mean maybe she was not free to go out and about the way she used to, or just from the illness could have been the confinement either way, whatever that was for her, she's free of it. And she's really happy about that. And she's showing me this, or I'm seeing this, I'm believing it's coming from her. We have to remember there are so many people watching and listening on all the podcasts and everything. So if this isn't from her, something that's a confirmation for you, it's for somebody else watching, but I hope it's from her. It's a pink, like a little pink teddy bear. You know how they have those little brown teddy bears? Um, She's showing me one, but it's pink. So I don't know if that means something to you now or in the future. Sometimes confirmations can be something coming in rather than something you've already experienced. But I am seeing this little pink teddy bear and um, a stuffed mm. teddy bear. But her, daughter is, her daughter is supposed to be making some teddy bears out of some of her old clothing. Oh, th there you go. That, so when if there's a pink one, please call back. Back and let me know, or if you know, I please call back and yeah. let me let us know. let us know because I'm seeing this little pink, and I might be seeing pink because they are. I might be seeing the teddy bear as pink because these are unique teddy bears. Where again, teddy bears are usually tan or brown. Maybe I'm seeing it as pink. Maybe that's what one of them is going to be. But 
we'll see when it comes out. And it, just the teddy bear could be the confirmation for you, which I think it is just a fact of teddy bear. Um, yeah. And I'm going to tell yeah. you, she wants you to know um, that she has enlightenment um, and you're going to be getting some enlightenment. You're going to be getting some enlightenment. I'm just going to leave it at enlightenment because when it comes through, you're going to know exactly what it is and what that statement means. She also wants to let you know you're going okay. to have a, um, and when I say this, don't freak out, <laughs> a cross to bear, <laughs> and a cross to bear. Um, and I think that means you're going to have to make a choice that maybe is going to be an uncomfortable choice for you or a decision. I don't really know what it means when somebody says, oh, that, that's your cross to bear, like a decision or a choice or something you have to do that maybe you're going to be afraid. OK, you're going to be nervous about how other people feel about this decision or uh, this choice that you're going to make. So whatever it is, I just want to let you know, just feel feel comfortable in making the choice in the best way for everyone, for everyone involved is what I'm getting. So don't really be too, um, too, when that comes, don't, don't worry about, about it. Just make the choice. That's the, what you feel is the best choice and don't, don't worry about, uh, about anything else. Okay. And then the other thing that I'm getting, okay. and um, <clears throat> give me one quick second here. I'm sorry. I'm just, sometimes I, you know, mm -hmm. I'm not talking and it's because I'm listening. And when I'm listening, I want to, you know, not, <laughs> not be talking, but I try to do both at the same time because I don't really want the dead air, but I'm just going to try to listen for a second to, cause she's trying to say something. Okay. 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 So tell everybody that I love them. Tell them, and I, for what this is worth, um, and for whatever it means, um, she keeps saying, Mom, Mom, Mom. And then I, I don't know if you're watching me, but for those of you who are not watching me, I'll explain it. Um, she keeps saying, Mom, Mom, Mom. And then she goes with her hands to the side like she's presenting she's presenting her um so mom 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 and she's presenting so i'm going to assume i'm not seeing another woman but i'm going to assume that she's saying she's there with the family or with mom um it, it, and i hope that's that's correct i hope i'm getting that correct I am going to tell you, she says it was a long, hard journey, um, but she's happy. She, she she did it or she succeeded. So those are her messages. And make sure that she's very, she wants everyone to know she's so honored by what they're doing and what they've done. And um, it's amazing. Okay, so this is really, I love this, what she's about to say right now. It's amazing what we forget. It's amazing what we forget. It's amazing. She just keeps repeating, it's amazing what we forget. And I have a feeling what she's speaking of is like when we come through the, into this world and onto this plane, it's 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 like Min and she's showing me the movie Men in White, where they I think uh, Men in Black, Men in Black. Um, I think that was the name of the movie where when you see an alien, they wipe your memory or something like that. And then, then like basically what she's saying, when we come into this world, our memory, like we come in with this whole big plan, and she's showing me all these paperworks that we come in with and then as soon as we hit this play and we think I've got this I'll remember that that's going to be a piece of cake because I'll have this to back me up I'll have that to back me up the answers will be right there but then as soon uh -huh. as we hit this air 
we get a mind wipe. Like we, we forget everything we agreed to. We forget uh, all of our backup. We forget we have so many angels and guardians around us. We forget that, that we have soulmates and ancestors on the other side rooting us on and helping us along. And she, so she's saying, she's saying it's, it's so funny because over here, when we look down, we see everything is so simple. But we don't remember everything that we came in with. We don't remember everything we came in with to help us accomplish what we want to accomplish. It's all right there. We have it all. It's all inside of us. So she wants you to uh, try to remember what you've forgotten so that and to, and to tell everybody, just remember what you've forgotten. You have all the tools you need for everything moving forward. Okay, and that's what she would say to you, love. That is absolutely what she wants you to know. And thank you again, thank you again, thank you again. And um, yeah, thank you again, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's just what, that's what she wants to say. I hope that that is uh, helpful for you, Pat. I really hope that's helpful. Yes, it was. Thank you. Yeah, sounds like her. <laughs> oh, good, good. It's and and um, I I hope that this helps to bring some peace to you and your um and your and her family and your family. And please let her know that she brought. She's saying, tell her the teddy bears. Tell her the teddy bears. So please let your niece, I believe it is, know she's aware about the teddy bears and she's very honored by them. Okay. <laughs> All righty. Thank you so much. Yeah, She's going to make them. Excellent. Thank you so much. And I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. And I'm, I'm so, so sorry for your loss, love. So sorry for your loss. Thank you, Tony. I appreciate your, your empathy. Thank you. You are so welcome. You have a great day. I appreciate you. Thank you. You too. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'll let you know when I get my teddy bear. Oh, I can't wait. I, I absolutely would love that. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, guys, I'm going to go um, to the next caller. If you would like to be one of the callers today, uh, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. Now, um, I do want to say um, somebody had reached out to me and asked me if this is long distance. I think that depends on your phone plan. I, 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 it's a U.S. number. So if you have U.S. calling, it's it's not going to be long distance. If you're calling from another country, I think that depends on your phone plan and where you're calling from. And I can't, I don't really know your phone plan. So I can't tell you if it's long distance or not for you personally. Okay. I think I said hi to Rebecca and Sal, Amy, um, Sal, remind people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Every time I say that, Sal, people like drop off of like my numbers go down instantly like, no, and now I'm leaving. <laughs> it's such a ridiculous thing, Sal. So Sal says remind people to hit the thumbs up or the like button. But if I say that on air, literally people like leave the, like the numbers drop. It's so crazy. Thank you, Sal, so much for that, though. Thank you. Um, I'm going to go to the very next caller. Again, if you would like to call in, um, I'm here every Monday and Wednesday at noon. You can join us live. I would absolutely love that. Everybody loves when more people come in. And the next caller is 417. 417, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Linda. I, we had a, I had a reading with you before. I wanted to reach out to you and see about updates or anything. Okay. So um, I, I have to tell you, um, and it's probably a good thing. When I do a reading with someone, whether it's online or, or um, not online, um, on the show or um, as a private session, as soon as that reading is done, it pretty much is like gone out of my head. I don't really remember 
the readings or what people talk <laughs> okay. about. Like it's not my information, so I don't keep it. So please have a, um, do you have a sure. more specific question? Um, because, and please don't be offended that I don't remember you. I, I don't remember any, I, I, I hate to admit this on the air. Sometimes I don't remember my, I have the best neighbors in the world. I mean, the absolute most amazing neighbors in the world. My neighbors will blow everybody's snow, mow lawns, um, take care of each other, watch out for each other. And sometimes I don't even remember their names. And that's just the way my brain works. And I feel very badly about that. Okay. So Linda, uh, your name is Linda, right? Right. <laughs> right there. Yeah. It's been five seconds. I have to double down on that name. Um, what What is your okay. question? I forget names myself. So this has to do with my um, my granddaughter and my son and daughter-in-law. Okay, gotcha. Okay, and trying to see what's happening at this time. Okay. Um, okay. Thank you. Um, so what I'm going to say, the first word that I and it's going to take me a moment to get into the deeper energy of this. Um, but the first thing I'm going to say is there's some chaos going on and there are some choices being made these choices might not be what you consider mm -hmm. to be the be best, excuse me, oh my goodness, the best choices. But um, whatever, I feel like don't take stock in what anybody's saying right now. I'm getting the word leverage. And what I feel like is that, okay, two ends against the middle is what I'm hearing. So if somebody's saying they're going to do this or that, they might be trying to almost like negotiate or uh, do two ends against the middle. I don't know exactly what that means for your exact situation, but whatever is being said right now is not what is going to happen in the end. Okay. So, if somebody's saying, I'm, I'm going to go here or I'm going to do this, that, that might not be the way it ends up. So I feel like someone is trying to use right. almost like a threat to leverage at this moment. Uh, pay it no mind. Pay it no mind. Um, I do feel like. I do feel like there is some need for uh, and I'm going to I'm going to just say this for everybody listening I know you already know this when I say drugs or mm -hmm. medication this could mean somebody needs their prescription to be adjusted they need to get on the right medication they might need to get mm -hmm. on medication or they might be using street drugs inappropriately or just using street drugs. I, I don't know how you can use street drugs appropriately, but but hey, uh, using pharmaceutical drugs inappropriately or street drugs. OK, so what I'm hearing is there's a really big need for some medication, some some medication and or. Yeah, like. A, uh, yeah. I feel like there is a need for somebody to almost it's almost at the point where there might need to be a check in, but I feel like that that might be almost impossible to accomplish at this point. You're going to have to, I hear they're going to take it to the bitter end and then try to turn it around. But it's all, it's, uh, I hate to say this, but it's almost like it's a manipulation tactic that they're using um, to get what they want so that, they they don't have to do like I'm I'm hearing someone on the other side side say put on your big boy pants put on your big girl pants they don't want to do that so they're doing they're going making right. all these threats nope. and saying exactly. all these things just so they can stay in the exact little place that they're in right now and not have anything change exactly oh exactly oh. no I, I understand oh, exactly okay. what you're saying okay. Okay, I, and then I thank you for confirming all of that. And for you, for everybody who doesn't know what's going down, it, it's most important that she, that, 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 
all I'm hearing is have no fear. It's all going to work out. You're going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. Um, instead of trying to make one huge jump and change, make micro changes, micro changes. Um, one thing I uh -huh. hear, and I think you're going to laugh at this, it might be time to paint somebody's room so that everything has to be taken out, reorganized, and a fresh coat of paint will do a world of good. Actually, it's funny you mentioned painting. I'm actually painting my kitchen cabinets. Okay. Well, when you're done with those kitchen cabinets, <laughs> it's time to paint somebody's room. So it has to be kind of the, okay. all the energy, everything has to come out of that room and the energy can be refreshed and everything can be, you know, brought out in the open, if you will. So mm -hmm. that's what I'm hearing. It's time to paint that room. Yeah. Okay, love? Yeah, yeah. Now on Monday, my I, I don't know if it was just some if it was just me or just something happening. My heart was just like racing, and I didn't have coffee. I, I didn't have anything that would make me have my heart race. Is there something that I'm not I'm picking up that I'm not realizing? Excuse me. Um, I think it's a bit. Or if you just, or if you just say I'm I'm dumb, let's go ahead and no, no. I just think <laughs> I lost my mind. I think everybody's having really anxious moments lately. Um, uh, just in general, just having a little bit of anxious moments. Um, that's what I would kind of want to say right now on the air. Um, I would say that, you know, if it's obviously... Obviously, if it gets too much and too whatever, consult a doctor. But I feel like it was just a little bit of, yeah. of anxiousness at that point. Okay, love? Okay. Um, and you see everything okay with the granddaughter or anything bad happening with them? As of right now, everything. I mean, I, I understand what you just told me. I... Yeah, I would just say. Uh, you as see anything of... else? Um, you know, I, I really do have to move on and I don't mean to, to cut you short, but yeah, okay. I am going to say as of right now, everything I gave you is the best steps you can take moving forward. And that if anything, okay. you know, um, I don't, if I, if there was a warning or something, I think they would have had brought it through. I think you need to pay, re-listen to what they said and go from there. Okay, love? Um, I do really, really hope that that was helpful. You guys, I want you to know I, I'm so grateful for every second that you spend with me. I'm so grateful for um, each and every one of you. And I want you to know that I, I just love you and adore you. I'm going to try to get on this this weekend, either Friday or Saturday night. If you are following me, you will know. If you are not following me, that's okay. I get it. Just watch for that pop up to come to let you know I'm going to be on on Friday or Saturday. I will be taking callers again. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. I will be taking callers through the whole show and answering questions on YouTube. So if you can't, you know, um, do this during the day, I'm trying to get one nighttime show in during the week for those who are not able to call in or join the chat. Until then, if I can't do it this weekend because like I lose my voice or something, I will be back on Monday at uh, noon central. I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of the day. And thank you again for joining me here today.